Hello everyone, my name is Steven, and I shoot videos. I'm into Blackmagic cameras. I love the Pocket, I have a Micro. I had a cinema camera for a while, but then I ditched it, and now I wish I didn't, because I had an amazing package and I sold it. Why did, why? Don't sell that stuff. I started getting into different speed boosters. First I had the FD speed booster to Micro Four Thirds. Then I got the EF version, now I have the Blackmagic Pocket cinema camera version and they all fit differently on the cameras. The specifications are so tight that it doesn't fit on the micro, right? So what do you do? Well, all you do is email support and I believe the guy's name is Daniel and he's a really super nice guy and he's just like yes I will fix it and I will send it to you and basically what they do is they send you the back plate of the speed booster you just take it apart put it back together and you're all set one thing though I wanted to add so I bought the speed booster from Craigslist and it was damaged oh it looks it looks really good the optics are clear great and I tried putting it on the camera and it didn't work and I took it I took a look at it and there was a bunch of screws on it that were stripped the the base had been glued on like how did i miss this i don't know i thought i had lost i thought i was done and i thought that i had to just chalk it up to learning like just buy the new one spend the 700 dollars right until i wrote metabones so i wrote them and i just said hey you know i got these problems it's really unclear as to what you do but basically you're gonna buy return shipping from from them and then you gotta take that paypal transaction id and just copy that into your email when you send support, support at Metabones. Just make sure that transaction ID is in there and then they'll be able to link up which service you're getting on the way back. So I went to, and this, here's another mistake that I made. So I went to FedEx to mail it to Japan. Whoa, or China, what a fall. Don't do that. Just go to US Postal Service, as dodgy as they are, to make sure it's insured and send it US Postal Service. That's the way to go. You can send it for about 25 bucks, depending on where you are. So I sent it to him and I was just waiting for this bill, man. I'm just sitting there and I'm waiting every day. I'm like, oh, like I don't want to check my email, right? I got an email from them. They're like, hey, we received it. It's going to take us three to five days. Thank you very much. That's all we need from you. And I was like, okay. So I'm still, every day I'm waiting for that bill. I'm waiting for that bill. And guess what? The bill never came. I think what they did was they just took my optics and they got rid of everything else on the speed booster. That's what they did. And they didn't charge me a dime. And they sent it back FedEx too, which must have been expensive. I had put a little note in there saying that I wanted to use it on a micro. They missed that. So they sent it back and it was it's great for the pocket. I'm using it on the pocket right now. I tried putting it on the micro, didn't fit. I wrote them an email and I said, hey, it doesn't fit. You know, you guys must have missed it or whatever. I wrote three times, no response. And then I just waited. I emailed them again. Uh, it was like last night, I think. And I got a response right away. Listen, here's what I'm gonna do for you since we missed this. I'm gonna pay for shipping. I'm gonna, we can ship your camera out to us and we can make sure that it's, that it fits perfectly. Or I will just have my engineer rework one of the backs and to a different specification and we'll just send it to you and i said well yeah that one sounds like a good idea <laughs> better bones is amazing they took basically a garbage speed booster and they totally fixed it for free all i had to do was pay for the shipping which turned out to be about 60 bucks that's it meta bones adapters amazing those are ex they're expensive but they really do take care of their customers thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video